tonight. The island is fed the ravages of tropical storm Dorian as it makes an uneventful passage over St. Lucia. The Castries mayor calls on agencies caring for the less fortunate to step up following a viral video showing a number of individuals sleeping under the CDC buildings during the national shutdown. And are schools structurally sound enough to be hurricane shelters? The Prime Minister addresses the concern. That and more coming up. This is the Hot 7 Nightly News with Lovelace and Amy Jacob. Good night. It is Tuesday, the 27th of August, 2019. Welcome to the Hot 7 TV Nightly News. We're on Flow, Channel 117, also being simulcast on KISS FM, 105.5 and 105.9. We're live on Facebook at Caribbean Hot 7 TV, on our website, www.caribbeanhottv.com, or on our free Caribbean Hot FM mobile app. I'm lovely St. Amy Joseph. Thank you for joining us. Tropical Storm Dorian is expected to be near hurricane strength when it approaches Puerto Rico on Wednesday, a threat that has residents taking precautions on an island still grappling with the devastation of 2017's Hurricane Maria. For St. Lucia, the words fortunate and blessed are being used today, Tuesday. Reports say the eye of Tropical Storm Dorian passed over St. Lucia, but it brought no heavy rains or strong winds. The Met Services discontinued the tropical storm warning for St. Lucia from 8 a.m. on Tuesday. The Prime Minister gave the all clear, ending a national shutdown at 10 a.m. Now, the storm center is expected to pass near or just south of Puerto Rico Wednesday before moving near the Dominican Republic on Thursday with sustained winds perhaps just below 74 miles per hour. That's according to the National Hurricane Center. Hurricane or not, Dorian will batter Puerto Rico with heavy rain and strong winds and it will not take much of either to cause trouble for the island's already brittle infrastructure. Here in St. Lucia, Commissioner Severin Morsheri on Tuesday gave an update regarding the efforts of the police force, informing that minimal damage was reported during and post Dorian. Commissioner Morsheri also took the opportunity to commend the men and women of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. Solange Alfred tells us more. We're at police headquarters where we're about to touch base with Commissioner Severin Morsheri to get a feel of how police officers were able to corral society and ensure that each and every one adhered to that shutdown. This is what he had to say. All clear has been given. Reports from um, police officers, various heads that um, we generally had uh, nothing major to report on. Any reports of breakings or robberies during the passing of um, the storm? So far I have one report of a breaking on Bridge Street. I don't have the full details yet, but that was reported to me. Police Commissioner Morsheri also thanked the exceptional performance of his men and women who ensured the safety and security of the public during the passing of Tropical Storm Dorian. Okay, I must take the opportunity to thank the police officers who came out uh, to work. Leave was not generally cancelled, but leave was cancelled for Marine Unit and SSU. And we had a number of officers who were out patrolling right through the night. I must thank and commend these police officers for a great job. That is a time when people really want to be at their home, they want to be with their family, but the officers had to forego that and be at work, and I must thank and commend them for that. That was Commissioner Morsheri providing an update on after the passing of Storm Dorian. He indicated that there was some slight issues in ensuring that these individuals were, were at home where they were supposed to be during that shutdown. He also indicated that there was a robbery along Bridge Street. Reporting for Hot 7 News, I am Solange Alfred. Thank you, Solange. Castries Mayor Peter St. Francis is calling on agencies tasked with ensuring the safety of the less fortunate to step up following a viral video showing a number of individuals sleeping under the CDC during the national shutdown for Tropical Storm Dorian. The mayor spoke to Hot 7 TV News where he also provided an update on the mobilization effort to clean up the city after the storm. Here with Mayor Peter St. Francis, just to get an update after the passing of um, Tropical Storm Dorian. Well, first of all, I'm a, I'm a strong the almighty for I wouldn't say saving us, but I do not, I mean, we didn't get the, the, the worst part of it. I mean, we are very grateful for 
that. Um, as you know, we had everything in place in case of any emergency. Um, our guys, I'll, if you, I, I've got it wrong, the city circuit, and uh, I'm very happy to report that. You know, there is nothing to really talk about that has happened to us. Um, the other thing is that you see our crew will be on the on the road in a while to do the cleaning because we did not do anything since you know the country the country was clo was shut down yesterday at six. So there's an element of some cleaning, and and I'm also happy that. The flooding. I mean, I'm sure that if, as you make it wrong, you see that we did not have that element of that year wrong and years of flooding where many people sneeze. So, there's a, so we are, we are getting somewhere. Um, a little thing that disturbed me um, about the whole situation is uh, the people who were underneath the CDC, the, the less fortunate people. And, uh, well, we have monitored the situation because we know that is something that happened year in, year out. Um, but as anything else, you know that I mean, we cannot hold people if they do not want to. So we could most probably will just monitor the situation. So if push come to shove, we would have taken them down into the city hall for, 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 for protection. But um, this is something I've always been speaking about. I'm sure you in the media will hear that I'm always calling on the other services to lend a hand in these, in these especially these big ones uh, we, you know, that we have in a, in, a, in a sense. So and I also said that I cannot do it alone. And I'm sure you that have been asking me very tough questions in the past would have realized that I have been talking about environment and health, human services, you know, our grease traps and our big ones and so on. So I, I hope that is a wake-up call for us. I know that the, 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 the Prime Minister is extremely upset about it because he, he didn't realize that was second class and I, I understand his feeling. But we have to start putting our agencies and I'll continue saying that we have to start putting the people who are entrusted with these things. And as I always say, they have the law on their side to enforce. Because some Francis can't go and hold a vagrant on the road and just imprison him. You understand? I have to have the agencies who has it. We have to work together to solve that problem. But I know the Prime Minister is extremely upset and I, I know why he is upset. I mean, I myself, I mean, you, I have I vent my feeling over and over. So I hope that the reality has hit home and something will be start being done about it. That was Peter St. Francis, Mayor of Castri, saying that the crew is getting ready to go up and start that cleaning and also that um, that situation with the vagrants under the CDC will be addressed. Reporting for Hot 7 News, I am Sola Jalfre. Meanwhile, Commissioner of Police Severin Moshari addressed the issues faced trying to get people to adhere to the National Advisory. Rochelle Gonzalez reports. Despite the island being under a national shutdown between the hours of 6 p.m. on Monday the 26th of August through to 10 a.m. the following day, as a precautionary measure for the passage of Tropical Storm Dorian, not everyone was willing to walk on the side of caution. The Royal St. Lucia Police Force issued a notice shortly after the announcement of the shutdown was made, advising the general public that due to the national shutdown, no one via foot or other means was to be seen outdoors. The notice went on to warn that anyone violating the advisory, with the exception of emergency personnel, would be detained. On Tuesday afternoon, however, Commissioner of Police Severin Moshari said officers were somewhat kept busy trying to keep persons off the streets. A lot of people didn't take heed of the warnings given and um, some people notwithstanding that the country was shut down they were still out there my re reports reaching me that in the south it was relatively okay but in the north we had issues especially in the grizzly area where police officers had to be sending people home and asking them to leave the streets the commissioner said whilst the warning carried a steep penalty there were obvious exceptions to the rules but the police would have to use their discretion because you would have people who are coming from work and you have people who would be genuinely on the street. There are people who would be going to work, coming from work, or, or other, maybe just um, not being able to get um, transportation to and from their home. So police would use their discretion. But these people who are just out loitering, these are the persons that are of concern to, concern to us. The commissioner said whilst the warning carried a steep penalty, there were obvious exceptions to the rules. Clip. During a drive through of the capital on Tuesday morning, the Hot 7 News cameras filmed persons walking around, even though the all clear had not yet been given. Reporting for Hot 7 News, I'm Rochelle Gonzalez. You're watching the Hot 7 TV Nightly News. When we come back, updates on the water system, the electricity supply, 
and the state of hurricane shelters. Stay with us.